Hi guys, I was uh, playing around last night with the uh, setting up a table of contents in pages and I thought I would share uh, with you what I had learned. Um, in, in pages itself, when you're creating a document, it's important that you use the word processor uh, templates rather than the page layout to do this. And uh, I rarely use word processor, I always always use page layout because a lot of this, most of the stuff I do is just single single page documents or agendas or something like that. But uh, using a, uh, a word processor um, template, and I'm just going to import a PDF file here that I have. Um, let's see if it'll allow me to do this. Into pages. So now we have this, uh, this PDF file, and it's a little bit different then you see the original. Uh, I can uh, fix that some somewhat. It looks like uh, it's like that. And there's that double. That. We won't worry about that. Um, let me just center this. And there's some spacing. Let me see if I select all. Uh, open the inspector. and add a little bit after each paragraph. There, that gives us some spacing after the paragraphs anyway. So, um, to make a table of contents, uh, let's view uh, the page thumbnails will help, which opens this here so I can easily go to each page. And also, uh, you want to show the styles drawer. Okay? so. Um, when you're the, like I said before, when you're creating a document, it's easier to plan ahead and choose what fonts or what st uh, paragraph style you want for each section. You see, this one has um, some different uh, areas here that would be uh, something that you might want in a table of contents. And this is obviously a very small document, but um, what we could do is you set up. Um, how each section you want it to be, you know, how you want it to, to look. And you can either choose one over here, like this is a heading, and it'll automatically set it up. Um, or you can um, just create a new paragraph style from what you select. And so this will be, uh, we'll make it easier, and I'll call this preface. And you can see now that shows up here. And anything I, I click on now and use preface, that is the same. Um, well, let's see if I select this and I tell it it's that. You see it, uh, it changes it to center and it screws up the capitalizations. Um, but uh, let's do that one. Uh, let's set this one the same way and we're going to call this one, um, oh, we'll just call it chapter headings, all right? Pretending like that's what that is. <clears throat> and then I go to each one of these and I will change them all uh, to that. Obviously those weren't what the same the same thing, but this will help for the uh, for the example. Okay, so uh, I have these all as chapter headings. Um, I can I'm not sure if you could just insert here or not, but um, what I did before is I just created a blank page and I moved it to the front to the to the front and on your inspector you're going to go to this page icon and it usually starts here where it's on document tab uh, you're going to change it to the table of contents tab and here it will say uh, what will be um, used and see not all these ghosted ones are none of these are used in the document you could turn them all off um, and we're going to use chapter headings and let's use the uh, the preface also and the the column over here is if you want that to include a page number on the on the table of contents and this will make the page number links and so once you have that set up you can go anywhere you want in the document and just do insert Table of content. Oops, I did the wrong thing. Insert table of contents, and there's a table of contents. 
and you can see how these are di how when I click on one, it highlights all of the ones that are the same chapter heading, and this one is the preface. I can go over here and change these to uh, table heading two, right? Now, anytime I go back and add pages in the document, let's say I want to, um, uh, well, let me just let me just duplicate this page. Or I'll duplicate all of them. Um, when I click here, you see it updates it. Well, you have to click in here to update it, but because it'll it'll look screwy uh, for a couple seconds until you until you do something, and you see this all updates uh, what you've done. If you insert another page, it'll it'll update all the page numbers on here. All right. So I thought it was a fairly simple and easy uh, uh, way to do this. I believe Word has a very similar type of way, but I haven't uh, screwed around with Word to figure it out. Anyway, thought you guys would enjoy that. I'll talk to you all later.